Ooh. Can't even get a bite of it. Yeah, it's it's falling apart. Now it's just a more like a uno fromaggi. <laughs> Good old Italian street water. Naples, Italy might look a bit rough on the surface, but the more you dig deeper, the more beauty you can find around town. Today, though, we're focusing our exploration on what Napoli is famous for, the Napolitano pizza. We are going to try a few pizzas here in Naples. Lots, lots of pizza in Naples. Yeah, you can have it every day, <laughs> every meal. And you can do that on one block. So there's something in Naples called the Naples Pizza Association, or VPN, Verace Pizza Napoli. Nap True Napolitano pizza. Just FYI, I just looked it up. The VPN is the Associazione Ferrace Pizza Napoletana. Just in case you wonder. We are Pizzeria Atanasio, and it's an authentic Napolitano pizza place. I decided to go with traditional and get the margarita pizza, and Hollis decided to go with traditional too and get the Quattro Formaggio. And we don't use plastic, so we'll just drink right out of the box. Did you see the pizzas that come out of that oven? They're massive. We should order, definitely order. Oh god, that's gonna be a lot to eat. We should order. Well, we can. It doesn't matter. We're in Naples. This is what we're having. Grazie. It's bigger than my face. <laughs> we should have. We should have split. split it. Yeah. Holy moly. What do you think of the crust? It's different. It's chewy. It's not like a lot of pizzas you get in America where the crust is thick. Like it's it's light and fluffy, but it's chewy. I think it's cooked in a really super hot oven that only goes in for like a couple of minutes. It doesn't feel fully cooked like the ends, the, the triangle part of it. It's a little gummy. Oh, it's good. It's a good light pizza though. It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Love it. I wish they had some ranch dressing. Oh my god. Mine is really oily. This is all cheese basically. Well, or different kind of cheese. But it smells really good. It's definitely much better than the margarita pizza. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> what is this? Is it garlic? I think it's actually a cheese chunks, but they put the basil on it too, so it's definitely gonna add more flavor. It's, it's really, cheese. really gooey. Mine is definitely much gooier. Ooh, can't even get a bite of it. Yeah, it's it's falling apart. I think. Now it's just a more like a uno fromaggi. <laughs> it's really good. It's salty and messy. Very strong taste of cheese. It's really good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that much cheese on a pizza, and for like eight euros. It's a lot. I ate a fork full of your cheese on your pizza, and there's still a ton of cheese on it. <laughs> Not sure how properly eat the pizza here. It's pretty floppy, so unless you fold it over, it doesn't work. It's just like yours, it's just gonna fall off. So I think you have to cut a big slice that can fold over easily. That's what I saw most people doing here, so. It doesn't really work. Yeah, it's, yours is really good. It's definitely really messy. Yeah, it's not even worth trying anymore, just eat it. <laughs> it's whatever it gets to your mouth. Yeah, you get it right. Michael is finished. Can he do it? Look at him. He's, he's gotta eat this. Just big chunks. Can you do it? We're going to eat pizza on every meal. Not, not after that. No, yes, we will. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> this is the last bite of my pizza. Oh, yeah. I just can't believe you did that. So as a part of our checking out the pizzas of Napoli, we decided to eat at a place called Sorvillo's. A Gino e Toto. Gino e Toto Sorvillo. And it is so highly decorated. If you look at the outside, number one, there's always a line. Always a big line, which we were told was going to happen. Yeah. And number two, you can see the uh, Michelin star and there's some kind of recognition. There's I don't think they have a Michelin star, do they? I doubt it. Yeah, Michelin. Right I don't there. think that any pizza restaurant has a Michelin well, so, if it does, so we probably can't afford it. Well, they have huh. a Michelin 2019 sign outside. Oh, that's mean they're in the garden. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what we're going to eat. And to be fair, I'm going to have a margarita pizza. And you might not want to get the quattro formaggi because that was a lot of food last time. Oh, no. Michael always has the margarita pizza. Yeah, I have it so anyway. it is actually a good standard because he can compare it like really that's apple to do. apple to, you know, all the margarita pizzas. Margarita to margarita. Margarita to margarita. All right. So we're, we're on the list to get in and we don't know how long it's going to take, but we're waiting on something. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty tight here. Halif is waiting to see if her name is being called. Alright, that's us. I think that's our turn. Okay. We're in! Okay, where do we go? 
have no idea. He said in. Is that, that's in me. Do it. All right, I'll go inside. This is crazy. Over 40 minutes to get our tables ready, and finally we are here. We are packed in a bit tight here, so it's going to be a little bit weird filming this, but whatever. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. Big table with a lot of people. It's almost like eating family style in an Italian restaurant. Shoulder to shoulder. You gotta pack them in, but it's so busy you got no choice. Seems like I'm gonna order something called a Rodolfo. It comes with prosciutto crudo di parma. Prosciutto and pizza sounds really good. I'm gonna get this one. The margarita bufala de okay, and I don't know what that means. I know it's twice as expensive as the margarita, so it must be twice as good. Twice as good. That's all I'm thinking. It's a bit different than what I got the other day. I got a beer that was brewed for this place called Casa Sarvia. So this place is simple. They have the house red wine and then they have the house white wine. And you went with the red. Go for red. Bottoms up. Michael's pizza just came out. It's yummy. It's massive. That's a mozzarella ball. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe this is what costs three dollars extra. Oh, my pizza's had to finish. That's yeah. Oh. Okay, that's way better than the one we had the other day. Good. It's a drippy. Mm -hmm. We knew that was gonna happen. Prosciutto di Parma, and it comes with the arugula too. I'm actually cutting it on the table because pizza is actually larger than my plate. Oh, it's way larger. You know, the thing is, I don't think people eat pizza with triangles here. Because number one, you can't really fold it anyway. Oh, you're just making a mess, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm really I did a butchering perfect triangle, it. look at that. This is falling apart, sorry. <laughs> this is, I'm really butchering it. Oh my god. It's good. really, really good. What's wrong, Michael? I just realized where I'm sitting. <laughs> Very uncomfortable now. Where are we sitting? I'm sitting on glass, and you can see down to the next floor. And you just realized it mid I just realized meal. it mid meal. Oh well. Still eating. <laughs> Still water left. If it was a food competition, you'd be dipping it in water. And I will finish it. You will finish it? I will finish it without ranch dressing. Olive really wants ranch dressings. I don't need ranch dressing this time. Well, it's not like they have one, so. The prosciutto is so good. Here really. we go. Here we go. Stuff it in. Just stuff it in. <laughs> What's your verdict on Sorbillo? What's the verdict on Sorbillo's? I think it was definitely a good experience. It was better. Better pizza and very tasty dinner. Well, for me, there was a 40 minute wait. Sorbillo's was definitely better. But was it 40 minute wait better? But the good news is, is that I assumed that because it was such a popular place that the prices were going to be jacked up, but it was the exact same price that we paid yesterday. Yeah, we're surprised that our pizza ranged from, you know, five to eight euros, and it's pretty much standard, I think, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, popular doesn't mean more expensive. No, which is a good thing, I think. So that is pizza place number two. Highly recommend it, though, although it is really long. So yeah. you think it's worth it? This is one of the best. Uh, yeah, give it a try. Yeah. Definitely give it a try. Yep. And of course, the Naples food scene is not complete without trying some of the desserts here, and all of them look wonderful. The two desserts we decided to try are the cannoli and the local delicacy called baba. It's my first baba al bicchiere. Baba? Give me my baba. What you got? I got a couple of cannolis. It's the first time I've ever had a cannoli. Michael's first cannoli experience. Yeah. And the second one is pistachio. Bellissimo. I don't even know if that's the right word to use. Bellissimo is you describe a person, right? Bueno. Bono? No. Well, you said it when it's good. <laughs> bene. 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 Coke zero. Coke zero is bene. No. What happened? 